The more we knit together, 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 the more we knit together, the happier we'll be. Welcome, friends. Today we're going to knit together. Here, kitty, kitty. Ah, oh, there are the sheep in the pasture eating grass. It still looks a little bit chilly outside. Hello? They're curious. They're looking around. Ba. Ba. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Look at their fur, their hair. Here is the hair cutting. Just like getting a buzz cut the bags of wool, dyed wool once it's been cleaned, carding the wool, brushing it. Here's a machine that takes the wool and cleans it and turns it into fleece that can be turned into yarn. <laughs> the earth gives us many plants that can bring different colors to the fleece and the yarn to make something beautiful. Maybe a sweater, perhaps a blanket. Here is a blanket that someone knit. And here is another kind of knit that we're going to learn today. It's called garter stitch. All right, we're going to tie an overhand loop, putting the tail through, and we're going to put that loop right onto our needle and snug it in there. Under, over, pull it through. We're casting on. We have another video fully on casting on that you can review if you want to practice this skill. Under and over, letting that loop jump onto the needle and letting it go. And once we have all the stitches that are called for, it's time to knit. So we'll take our needle and we're going to go into the first stitch. Go under and take that long tail, connect it to the ball of yarn, wrap it around and magically a loop appears as we come through. How did that happen? Let's try it again. Going in, around, popping this through and there is a loop we pull off the other needle. Hmm. This is knitting. We have a rhyme to help us. It's good to watch for a little bit before we jump in and try it ourselves. You can get a feel for the rhythm. And here is a little rhyme to help us. Let's so just finish this stitch here. Here we go. Under the fence, catch the sheep. Back we come and off we leap. Under the fence, can be kind of tight on this first row. Catch the sheep, back we come and off we leap. And we just leapt off the first row. So after that, we're gonna flip the needle around get a little more slack in our yarn line and we're going to begin again. There'll be a tail and the line that's connected to the yarn so be careful you don't start <coughs> knitting with the tail because then you'll have to go back and begin again. Under the fence catch the sheep back we come and off we leap under the fence catch the sheep Back we come and off we leap. Under the fence, catch the sheep. 
Back we come and off we leap Under the fence, catch the sheep Back we come and off we leap Becomes a type of meditation. All right, let's watch the finishing of the row. So once we get the last stitch on the other needle, we're going to turn it around so the yarn is at the front again. And you'll see a loop there. It might look a little saggy, but that's called a purl. So on that first stitch, the purl looks kind of like something isn't right, but don't worry, it's just fine. And here we go again, down the row, row by row, our knitting grows. Knitting can be a very relaxing and even meditative activity. It's a way we can connect our mind and our heart and our hands and even our souls as we create something of beauty for someone we love. Under the fence, catch the sheep, back we come and off we leap. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? There's the pearl stitch again. The kind of knitting we're doing right now is knitting every row this is the knit, knit stitch. As we learn more in knitting, we'll learn the purl stitch. Just like those purls you see at the bottom of the needle when we go back and forth between a knit and a purl, we create a stitch that looks a lot like one of your favorite sweaters or a blanket that you love. But we'll start simply and we'll start here with a simple shape like a square or a rectangle. There are a lot of things that can be done with a square or a rectangle. One of those things is to knit a little cat. And so that's what we'll be doing in the next video, is learning how to knit a little kitty. Maybe for someone we love, or perhaps a child can knit it for him or herself to play with. It's wonderful to create handmade toys that leave room for the imagination where love is put into every stitch and something that's treasured for a very long time. Do, 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 do. Knitting connects us to a very ancient art, to the elements, to solutions that we have found along the way, to create fabrics with fiber. We Thanks for tuning in. We see you in the next together. video. I can't wait to get started on weave our project. Weave us together in unity and love.